Hello fellow photographers. I know it's been a while, but we're back now and we're changing the day that the videos will be dropping. The videos will now be dropping Fridays at noon. So that means tomorrow you will see a new video. As for tonight, this impromptu video was to let you know that. And then also my sister called me with a question about how to add logos to her images. So we're going to work on that. So today's tutorial, today's impromptu tutorial, is about how to add logos to your images. Let's get into it. Okay, so how do you add a logo to a whole bunch of pictures at once? It's easy to jump into Photoshop and add it to just one image, but I've got 23 images here that I wanna add my logo to, but I don't wanna take the time to add it to all 23 images. So we're gonna take these pictures here. I took a food over the last month and we're gonna add my logo to it. All right, so the first thing we do is we don't wanna add a logo to our original work. We want to add it to copies. So JPEGs ideally is what you're gonna be posting on Facebook or something like that where you'd want the logo added at. So we're gonna start off with our raw images. So these are images that were only edited in Adobe Camera Raw. So the quick way to save them all to a JPEG is straight from Adobe Camera Raw. So we're just gonna select them all by pressing Control A. We're gonna open them all up in Adobe Camera Raw. We're gonna select them all again by pressing Control A. And we're gonna select this button here at the top that says Convert and Save. We're gonna choose our folder. Actually saving in the same location is fine for this. We're going to change the extension to a JPEG. We're going to keep the same file name because it doesn't matter for these purposes. And But this is where you could also add a small or copy or something like that if you wanted. We're going to press save. And then we're just going to let Adobe Camera Raw do its magic. All right, now that that is done, we'll just go ahead and cancel out of this. And now we have 20 JPEGs, but we had 23 images. That means we also had some Photoshop images. So one of these is the logo we're gonna be adding. The other two are pictures. So we're gonna open these up in Photoshop. And we're going to create an action. And that action is going to be found under Window. And you make sure that your Actions folder is turned on. We're going to create it right here. Apparently I already had one, but we're gonna make one just for the sake of it. We'll call it create JPEG from, if I can spell from, from PSD. We're gonna record. We're going to go to file, save a copy. We're gonna select this as JPEG. We're already in the same location that we want it to be, so we're gonna press save press OK and close it and then we're gonna stop our action and now we can just press play and then it's done that with both of them so now when we come over here to camera raw and we look at our JPEGs we have all 22 I lied about 23 earlier because I was looking at the number counting for the logo so now we've got all of these images here saved as JPEGs ready for us to add logos to so to do that, let's just start off by opening one of the images. Does not really matter which one. And we're going to create a new action. This is going to be called resize. We're gonna call it resize horizontal. Just because this is a horizontal, these are all horizontal images and if they were portraits we would do a different resize for that so we're gonna go to image we're gonna go to image size we're gonna change our resolution to 100 and then we're going to change the width to a thousand and that changes our image makes it a lot smaller uh, the reason we do this is partially for uploading reasons partially so if somebody does copy and try to edit out your logo and use the image as their own they don't have full resolution copies and then we're just going to go file and save we're going to press ok and we're going to close the image and then we'll press stop on our action 
and then now we can select all of our JPEGs except the one we already did honestly at this point if you did redo that it's not gonna matter too much we're gonna go to tools Photoshop and then batch and the last one we did is gonna be the one that it's going to do and it's just gonna go through these pictures and it's just going to resize them all for us now that they're all resized down to a more workable size we're going to select another image and we're going to actually add the logo to it so let's open this one up in JPEG we're going to create a new action this one's going to be called add logo honestly you can call them whatever you want as long as you remember what they are when it comes time to using them so for this one we're gonna to go to file we're gonna to go to place embedded we're going to scroll down to our logo and then now we have our image here now that's bigger than we want it to be so we're just going to resize it down and press OK and in all honesty where that image ends up is not actually where it's going to end up on all of them so you can move it around in here but the actions not going to follow that so what we're going to do so we're going to select both of them we're going to make sure we're on our move tool here and then we're going to select this button here it's going to send it all the way to the bottom and then this one here is going to send it all the way to the right hand side if you want to go to the left hand side you can do that as well but we're going to stick with it at the, the right hand side and then we're going to right click on this we're going to merge the layers we're going to file and save and then we're going to close the window and then we're going to stop our action one thing I like to do beforehand is I like to test it out on one image before I batch a whole bunch so we're gonna open up this picture we're just gonna play it through and see if it came out looking proper looks like it did so now we can select all of sorry we need to go back into bridge we can select all of our images except for the two that we just edited we're gonna go back to tools Photoshop and batch and then like I said the last one you worked with is what's gonna show up here so add logo press OK and it is now adding a logo to all of our images but there you have it that is how you add a logo to however many images you want to very quickly I hope this was informative I look forward to seeing you tomorrow at noon when we drop our video that's going to conclude our organizing and editing videos that we started and then new videos every Friday at noon I'll see you soon and happy shooting